Hi guys, my name is Fietti, and recently on my TikTok lives, I've been asked a lot about how to set up stream avatars for your own TikTok. So I just wanted to make a small tutorial for you guys on that today. So this won't work if you're on your phone. You are going to have to be streaming through Live Studio or OBS, but I will show you guys how. First thing you're going to want to do is get Steam and then just search up stream avatars. This does cost money. It is $19.49 in Canadian, so a little less if you're in America or another country. After you buy and install it all you're going to want to do is launch it obviously once it is launched the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're actually just going to go into login details on your streaming platform just make sure to click TikTok. then you're going to see where it shows platform login you're going to click that and then simply spell the name of your channel the name of my channel is speedy of course and then i just click confirm from there just click test once then you're good to go once you connect all the avatars that you download it will be there but now how do you download avatars all you do is click right here where it says steam workshop and then from there there's all these different packs if you want to just do pokemon just go through and download the pokemon or you can get like a bunch of dragon ball z characters but from there once you have ones download it once you connect every one of your users will just randomly generate as an avatar after you connect it if you want to change your own avatar what you're going to want to do is click this little icon here and then you will just see the name of the person that you want to change so for me i want to change myself and then you'll see the, all the avatars that you have downloaded in a full list i want to stay as it's a guy so i'm gonna uh not click anything else but if i want it i would click sasuke and then you would just click this right here to change them into that character and you can do this with anyone else as well. So if I wanted to change my buddy Kenneth, I could click him. And then when he joins the stream, he'd be that character. Now, how do you actually add this into your live studio or OBS? Well, if you do OBS, it is quite simple. You guys are going to see multiple of the same source here for a second. So what you would do if you do OBS is you would click the little plus button, go to a game capture, you're going to boom just capture a specific one and then from there you would click stream avatars and you would allow transparency and basically what that does is now when you connect you'll have a transparent version of your avatars now if you don't use a background by default you won't uh there wouldn't be a background here it would just be crystal all be clear it would just be the avatars running on the screen but sadly for live studio itself there is no way to add a transparent background so you are going to want to set up background so i will show you guys what i mean here so here in my live studio i only have the avatars on the bottom of my portrait mode i don't use it in landscape mode but what i did was i just added a background and i just added it there so you would be the same way you would click add source you would go to uh game capture source and then you would just add the uh, stream avatars there and then it would be wherever you center it now if you want to add a background yourself what you're going to want to do is once again just click the stream uh the steam workshop and then you can actually just straight up look up backgrounds and it will give you a full list of backgrounds or from here there's literally just a background tab and then you actually have more options if you click that instead of just leaving uh using the search bar for whatever reason and then you once again you would just go download them and then once you connect to the stream avatars itself to change your background you're basically just clicking quick access background color you can set your background color to anything so i mind blue if you want to set yours you could just go ahead and do that but if you want to change the actual background like where i have right here you're going to click where mine says naruto one because that's the background i'm using and that will give you all the different backgrounds that there are um all the commands will be listed right here under bot commands so uh, if you want to start a battle royale for me the command is exclamation battle so ahead of every single command you're always need to go to do an exclamation point um if you guys want me to make a guide on how to everyone can change their avatar without you manually doing it let me know in the comments and as always stay frosty folks